Well, thank you very much indeed for uh, joining us today. We really appreciate you taking the time out to, to do that. You're welcome. Great conference, isn't it? Yes, I really enjoy coming here. It's one of the highlights of my academic year, actually. So uh, uh, I enjoy seeing friends, colleagues from home that I don't normally see, and uh, the stimulation of all the, the different uh, venues and paper presentations. And one of the things that's really uh, stimulating about it is the fact that it brings a lot of different folks together, doesn't it? And, and I think that's one of the things you've benefited from. No, abs absolutely. Uh, the whole idea that there are people doing research on engineering education, uh, that that's a discipline in and of itself, uh, is uh, to me very, very interesting. I've always been interested in that sort of thing, but it's only been in the past half a dozen years that I've actually become active in that. So. Uh, the conference is just a perfect fit for my current interest. So. Now, you, you're, you won a, an award for Best Paper for uh, 2011, I think. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, that paper came out of uh, the idea that uh, working with uh, my co-author, Peggy Van Meter, she's in educational psychology, and uh, we had submitted a proposal to the National Science Foundation, and we thought uh, we had a good chance of uh, being funded, so we thought we would write a paper that got our acts together before we uh, uh, went further with the project. And uh, Peggy framed out what she knew about learning, about educational psychology, about knowledge and different types of knowledge. And then we mapped that into teaching thermodynamics or learning thermodynamics. What can you do to help students learn thermodynamics? And that set the direction for the project. It, it opened multiple windows uh, gave us maybe half a dozen different directions to go in and we kind of picked on one and that's the direction we're going and it's been very very satisfying. And I guess the bottom line is does it does it help uh, students to learn about thermodynamics? Well we're going to be running the big experiment next fall. I've got two sections we're going to have the grand experiment where we've got the control group and the, uh, uh, the experimental uh, treatment group and do a pre-test and a post-test and uh, do it as scientifically as we can, convince ourselves that indeed it works. And if, if we're convinced that it works, then uh, we can have a chance of convincing other people that it works but as well. It's important though, isn't it? Because uh, a lot of people talk to us at this conference about the importance of getting young people into uh, science and technology, about uh, having diverse uh, student bodies. So, so it's important to figure out how to, to best get this learning across, isn't it? Yeah, and I think one of the things in terms of teaching uh, people talk about active learning and that's something I've always done and in, in the past oh I don't know 10 years I've been getting into it more and more uh, as I've been more interested in ASEE uh, I've been reading the literature and I'm convinced that that is the way to engage students uh, get them excited about the subject matter uh, show them that they do have competencies uh, that they can build on and that they have fun in the classroom. They look forward to coming to class. Uh, they're not just fighting to stay awake, although maybe some days they are. But, uh, uh, so, uh, yeah. Well, thank you so much indeed for, for, for joining us today. I really appreciate that. Well, you're most welcome.